Hi guys, welcome to episode number 5 of my horror game tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply textures to the apartment. Um, so, before we can apply textures, we first need to import some textures into Unity. So, before we do that, click on right click on the assets folder and create a new folder. We're going to call this textures. And now, open the folder um, the horror game tutorial series folder that I provided you. Uh, if you don't have it already, go to the link in the description and just download it. And then open it up. It will look something like this. There are uh, three different folders. Uh, one is the models folder, the sounds folder and the textures folder. And also read me. I would also uh, advise you to read it. So go into the textures folders. And for this tutorial, we are only going to need the ceiling, the floor, the tiles and the wall folder here. So just grab them and drag and drop them into Unity, into the textures folders, uh, into the texture folder. So release and now Unity will import them as you can see here. This will take a moment and now you go to the textures folder and you can see that Unity imported the textures. So there are two different types of textures inside of these folders. First of all the diffuse texture. Um, the diffuse texture uh, holds all the color information. So it's basically just a picture and it is 1000, uh, 1024 by 1024. Um, you don't have to change anything here. And then there's also a normal map. A normal map basically tells Unity how to calculate the light on the texture and also uh, gives the texture some kind of 3D feeling. You will see in just a moment what I mean. But uh, before we can use the normal maps, we have to go to texture type and change it actually to normal map. So do this. And deselect create from grayscale and then click apply and now go to the floors folder do the same thing and then the tiles normal map deselect uh, create from grayscale and apply and then go to the wall to the normal then normal map create from grayscale and apply Okay, now go into your hierarchy and perhaps this is like this. Click on the apartment and now open it up and click on the actual apartment folder uh, on the actual apartment game object. And then um, you can see here are the different materials we created in Blender. And now we're going to apply a texture. So, first we start with the floor, so click on the floor right here, then go to the floor texture and where it says diffuse, drag it into the albedo and then where it says normal map, drag in the normal map and then here you can change the color. Well, let me first zoom in so that you can see what we are doing. Um, here you can change the color so you can actually add a color tint. So if you think this is too bright, you can make it darker. Or if you think it should be red, then you can make it red. It's all up to you. But I'm going to leave it at the white. And here let me show you the difference between no normal map. So this is without the normal map. You can see it's pretty flat and looks kind of boring. And now if I drag in the normal map, you can see that it has some kind of bumpiness to it. And also, here in the materials options, turn down the smoothness. Because the smoothness, as you can see, determines how shiny the object is going to be and the floor 
uh, it's not going to be shiny, perhaps a little bit, but I'm going to turn it down all the way. It's all up to you how you like it. And now you can also see uh, that the texture was applied to every floor which had the flo uh, floor material. But um, as you can see, it's a little bit like it's a little bit too big. We can change that by going down here. There's a tiling setting. So we are going to increase this by, let's say, let's try 3. And also 3 on the X and 3 on the Y. And now it looks a lot better in my opinion. So let's have a look. And I think... Oops. And I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to apply the wall texture. So again, it's pretty easy. Just click on the wall right here. Then go to the walls folder and drag in the diffuse into the albedo slot. And then take the normal map and also put it into the normal map slot. And now I'm going to change the color to white. Um, now you can see it also looks it's just too too big it's not f it's not f uh, fine enough it's like it's it doesn't it just doesn't look right so we are going to increase the tiling again to add more detail so we're going to also try 3 by 3 and i think that looks okay um then we go to the ceiling so Open the ceiling material, just change it to white, and then go to the ceiling texture, add in the diffuse, so where it says albedo, and then add in the normal add a normal map. So you can see, and then increase the tiling by 2x2 two two perhaps, or perhaps you could try 3x3, three three. yeah that looks about right, um, yeah, so let's have a look, perhaps you should stick to 2x2, two two. yeah I like 2x2 two two a lot better, okay, now we have that, and now the last thing we need to change is the bathroom floor, so we go to the bathroom floor, again make this white and perhaps turn down the smoothness. I forgot to do this on the wall so just let me remove the smoothness here. Okay and then we go to the tiles and drag in, wait let me go to the here and then drag in the normal map and then again try 3x3 three three. yeah it looks pretty good and then we are done and now as you can see the apartment looks a lot better and starts to look like an actual apartment so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to download assets from the asset store and then we are going to put some furniture and stuff inside of the apartment so that it starts to look like an actual apartment. And when we are finished with that, I'm going to show you how to change the light settings and then we can start to add some game logic. So, until next time, bye guys.